It's a quiet and chilly night out there. 48 in Coleman as well as Haleyville elsewhere. Low to mid 50s at this hour. We are in store for another seasonably cold night. Forecast lows into the low 40s for most of us. Parts of DeKalb and Jackson County. You might be looking at upper 30s for lows tonight. Again, I do not think we'll see any frost develop, but those uh, those uh, kind of mountain valleys uh, up in northeast Alabama. Yeah, it's going to get chilly, uh, awfully chilly overnight tonight. But just like the past few days, we will see a quick warm up in the morning hours. Thanks to a good amount of sunshine getting us to near 70 by lunchtime. We will spend all of tomorrow afternoon in the low to mid 70s and should be a beautiful Thursday across the region. 75 the forecast high in Huntsville tomorrow. Notice the wind. A lot calmer than it's been in recent days. It will hardly be noticeable uh, throughout the day tomorrow. So this is going to be probably our nicest day of the week. Take advantage of it because things are going to change in a big way after that with rain chances rising, temperatures rising, and maybe notice, most noticeably is the humidity is going to be rising these next few days. Dew points the past few days have been in the 30s, which is uncommon for early May, but we're going to start to feel that summer humidity enter our area over the coming days. These numbers here are the forecast dew points. They are at the very least going to reach the 60s starting on Saturday. Could climb as high as 70 on Saturday afternoon. That is the sign of some awfully muggy air in place. And with that will come multiple chances of rain beginning on Friday. Let's walk you through it. On late Thursday night into Friday morning, scattered rain showers start to move our way. We will have periodic rain chances during the day Friday, probably favoring the first half of the day more so than the second half of the day. On Friday night, developing thunderstorms in Tennessee could dive south into at least northeast Alabama late Friday night into Saturday morning. Those storms still at least have some potential to be strong with hail and damaging wind, at least a possibility. From that point through the rest of the weekend, we're not going to see any severe weather, but more pop up thunderstorms possible during the day Saturday and again during the day on Sunday. None of this is going to be a complete washout, but the periodic chances for those downpours will certainly be there. So if you have outdoor plans, just make sure you're keeping an eye on the sky. Forecast highs on Saturday near 80 degrees. It's going to get even warmer on Sunday, mid 80s in the forecast at that point. So finally, after a chilly start to May, we are back at it with more typical weather for this time of the year, and that likely is going to stick around for the first half of next week as well.